Deceivers is the 11th studio album of Arch Enemy, originally scheduled for a July 29, 2022 release. The album was pushed back to August 12, 2022 for undisclosed reasons. Deceivers is the Arch Enemy's first studio album since 2017's Will to Power, marking the longest gap between two of their studio albums. Hello guys, this is Kian from The Reaper Rocker and welcome to Reaper's Music Reviews. And Happy New Year everyone and we are now reached the year 2023 and we have a lot of fresh episodes that I will uh, deliver to you. So on this episode, we will do a review on Arch Enemy's new album, Deceivers. And I will share some of my thoughts in this album. So if you're excited to watch this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my social media accounts. Let's start. My top favorites in this album, those are Handshake with Hell, In the Eye of the Storm, and The Watcher. On the song Handshake with Hell, this is my most favorite song in the album. And I had made already a reaction video in this song last year. And if you want to check that out, you could also check the cards that will appear in the screen. Or you could check as well the links in the description. On this song, this is the unique track in the album since it shows the different side of Alisa. On this song, she sang on the clean vocals on the chorus and do growls on the verses. The song gives more on the agonist vibe and it shows her dynamics in singing since you will hear the range from the deep voice on growls to the high pitch on the clean vocals. It's amazing since you could uh, see her talent very well. It might kind of surprise to the loyal fans of Arch Enemy since most listeners are used to know that Arch Enemy has more on growls. And it seems that it gives a new face of the band when the clean singing is introduced. In the song, in the eye of the storm this song has more on the Gardenberg vibe the MVPs here are the guitar plays of Michael and Jeff it offers dark and melodical grips that a listener would remind of the old arch enemy days the riffs are so satisfying that you could picture the song as inviting you to the dark and the song's pre-chorus will captivate you right away since it offers a strong kick just like taking a black coffee. On the song, The Watcher, this song really got me. When the first time I listened this, I started to fall in love. It offers a catchy riffs, especially on the chorus, and it plays on my mind. And it has like the LSS factor that uh, you would surely appreciate. It is interesting that you will go on to mosh on the chorus parts, and the riffs reminds me of War Eternal. The combination of Alisa's scrolls and Michael's and Jeff's guitar plays builds a good sound blending that a listener would surely appreciate. If you compare this to a coffee, it offers the sweet yet strong taste. The honorable mentions, those are Deceiver, Deceiver, and Sunset Over the Empire. On the song, Deceiver Deceiver, I had made already a single review in this song last season and if I compare the single version against on the album version, nothing's changed. It's uh, the same and for me the MVPs in this song is Daniel. His drum plays is like a machine gun firing at your ears. The technicality, ferocity, and the heaviness are all present and listening to his drum plays is enjoyable. On the song Sunset Over the Empire, this song offers a tremendous songwriting and a good production. This track offers a soaring 
lead guitars and there is a melody over a strong and vibrating bass end. And there is a hypnotic chorus that is the stuff of a metal band fantasies. This track would be a great starter for the Arch Enemies live set to make a metalhead would set their mood for a mosh pit. My least favorites is Spreading Black Wings. For me, this track offers a least powerful tracks in the entire album. It does not offer that depth in songwriting and the melodies are uninspired comparing on the other track. I don't feel the vibe of this song that much. The song is just right but doesn't match the perfection of the other tracks. Comparing on the other albums, this album is very different. It is like the band's reinvention of their sound. We get used on their dark and aggressive riffs and deep growls. But this time, the band had incorporated new styles that a listener would surely appreciate. It has a different listening experience comparing on their two previous albums. You will love to explore the different tracks in this album. It offers an upbeat that favors beauty above melancholy. This band gives a wide spectrum of impact and offers the sound without being overwhelming. There is a feeling of freedom, confidence, and enjoyment in what the band has delivered here. The listening experience I had in this album is satisfying. It is fresh and playful to the ears. And I am giving the praise for the band for giving their love and energy delivering this album. Now, it's time for the verdict. What would I say on Arch Enemy's Deceivers? I could rate this album as 3.75 out of 5. Let's check out the mosh pots that we could visit for the following days. Another episode has been wrapped up and let me know in the comment sections what's your thoughts on arch enemies deceivers. Feel free to comment down below and if you like this video, don't forget to send a thumbs on my video and also consider subscribing. Again, this is Ian from The Reaper Rocker signing off. Rock on, Filipinas!